America in 1973 and ended up in Philadelphia. And the first trip I made outside of the city with my uh, old sparring partner and musical companion, Eugene O'Donnell, uh, was up to the coal mining regions of Scranton and Wilkesbury. And I was welcomed up there by a wonderful group of Irish Americans that were part of an organization called the Friendly Sons of St. Patrick, an immigrant relief organization. And they rotated their membership every year between Catholic and Protestant, very ecumenical. Uh, I had a great welcome up there and I was intrigued uh, to find a whole living tradition of song, sung by uh, singers up there. There were members of a group uh, called the Molly Maguires and another group called the Irish Balladeers. A lot of the songs were about the coal mining tradition of, of that part of Pennsylvania, the anthracite coal mines. And uh, in particular, there was one songwriter who seemed to have the attention and voice of the people, a man called Con Carbon. He was a small man with a big voice and he was known as the minstrel of the mine patch. And he wrote a lot of songs about miners' rights and the suffering of miners under the fairly unscrupulous practices of the Reading Railroad Company run by the infamous Franklin Gowan. And a lot of the songs were, were about the conditions that the miners suffered uh, in their daily lives uh, and always being kept in debt uh, by the companies uh, to ensure their compliance. Ironically enough, uh, that part of Pennsylvania, Scranton and Wilkesbury, as Joe Biden knows well, uh, was the locus of the beginnings of labor organization uh, in the East Coast of America and perhaps in the whole of America. And this is a song that, that celebrates that. Uh, it's very ironic uh, in, in, in that it's called When the Breaker Starts Up Full Time. But the breaker, which was the last stage the coal process went through before going on the market, it never started up full time because uh, it was a ploy, a very deliberate ploy, to always keep miners in debt, miners and their families in debt. And joining me on this is Athena Turgus, the great five-string fiddle player, who's currently living in Tuscany, Italy, and the great accordion player, Billy McComiskey, living now in Baltimore, when the breaker starts up full time. Our chums are old, Mrs. Murphy. But the Dutchman next door tells me straight That the mines are on full time on Monday That's what he tells me at any rate Sure the boss, he says, told him this morning As he was about to enter the mine That the coal is quite scarce around Philly So the rumour is work full time And it's as sure if the news be true these doorbells, the first thing I'll pay. A stuffed parlor suit and a lounge I will buy, and an organ for a GRA. A calico shirt I will throw in the dirt in me, so won't I cut the shine. When we get the advance, we'll put Seamus in pants, when the breaker starts up full time. Yeah. 